Module 3, Lesson 2, Objective. Solve multiplicative comparison word problems by applying the area and perimeter formulas. Let's say the vocabulary of the day together. Area, perimeter, sum, product, formula, rectangle. Formulas that we will be using today. Area equals length times width. Perimeter equals length plus width plus length plus width. And remember, the lengths on a rectangle are exactly the same, so you can multiply them by 2. And the widths on a rectangle are exactly the same, so you can simply multiply those by 2. So perimeter equals 2 times length plus 2 times width. A rectangle is 1 inch wide. It is 3 times as long as it is wide. Use square tiles to find its length. So let's go through and do C cub, circle numbers, and then underline what it's telling us to do and box in the verb. So we got to use square tiles to find its length. So we know that it is one inch wide. And then we know that it is three times as long as it is wide. So if this is one inch wide, this would be three inches long. Now let's make it two times as long. So I know that it is still one inch wide, but now instead of three inches long, it is six inches long. Now let's make it three times as long. So it is still one inch wide, and now it would be three, six, nine inches long. Three times as long as three is the same as three times three. Let's look at our next rectangle. Remember, a square can be a rectangle. So this rectangle is three inches wide and three inches long. If I were to double this length of my rectangle, that would give me a total of six inches in length. So three times two would give me a product of six. So now my rectangle is three inches wide and one, two, three, four, five, six inches long. So now let's go ahead and triple our rectangle. So if I were to triple this rectangle, it would now be a total of nine inches long and three inches wide. A rectangle is two meters wide. It is three times as long as it is wide. That means the length can be thought of as three segments that are each two meters long. So I know that my rectangle is two meters wide and one, two, three times two, which would give me six meters long. Now let's find the perimeter of our rectangle. Remember, you must replace the variables in order to find the perimeter. So I know that my length is 6 meters long, and I know that my width is 2 meters long. So let's replace the variables. So we replace the length with 6, and we replace the width with 2. Now, let's multiply the two numbers together, and then add them. 2 times 6 would give me a product of 12. 2 times 2 would give me a product of 4. 12 plus 4 would give me a sum of 16 meters. Now let's find the area of this rectangle. The formula for finding area is area equals length times width. So I know my length is 6 meters, and I know my width is 2 meters. Remember, replace your variables with your numbers. So area equals 6 times 2. The product would be 12.
12. And remember, you must always label the area with square meters because it's the inside dimension of your rectangle. This is 2 square meters by 2 square meters, 2 square meters, 2 square meters. Let's look at our word problem. Mackenzie painted a mural with an area of 18 square meters and a length of 6 meters. What is the width of her mural? Her next mural will be the same length as the first but four times as wide. What is the perimeter of her next mural? So let's go ahead and do C cub. So let's go ahead and circle our numbers. So Mackenzie painted a mural with an area of 18 square meters and a length of 6 meters. And they want to know what is the width of her mural. So this So here's the rectangle or the mural that Mackenzie painted. So we know that the area is 18 square meters and we know that the length is 6 meters. Now we have to solve for the unknown. So remember the formula for area. Area equals length times width. Or you could say area divided by length equals your width. So I know that 18 divided by 6 would equal 3. So my unknown width is going to be 3. The width of her mural is 3 meters. Now, we've solved the first problem. Let's go ahead and do C cub on the next problem. Her next mural will be the same length as her first, but 4 times as wide. What is the perimeter of her next mural? So we would underline our question and box in what it's telling us to do. So I know that her next mural is still going to be 6 meters long, and then it's going to be 4 times as wide. So if we remember from the first problem that it is 3 meters wide, we would simply do 3, 6, 9, 12, and that would give us our total width of 12 meters. Now remember our formula for perimeter. Perimeter equals 2 times length plus width. So let's go ahead and add our length plus our width which would be 6 plus 12 and then multiply it by 2. So 6 plus 12 gives me a sum of 18. And then 2 times 18 will give me a product of 36. So I know that the outside measurement of this rectangle would be 36 meters. And then finally let's go ahead and restate our question. The perimeter of her next mural is 36 meters. Thanks for watching.